Hi Instagrammers, hi Facebookers, hi YouTubers, how are you? I hope you are well. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit better since the last video. As you can see from the studio setup, I'm on the political side. And that's because we are kind of talking about the state of the nation as it currently stands in the UK. It's not very good. <laughs> well, it's crap. Um, our public services over the last 13 years of conservative rule have, have, been, have been cut to the bone. The NHS cut to the bone. All our public services had. Youth facilities in local councils have been cut because local funding to councils from central government has also been cut. So budgets is thick. So here in Southampton, it looks like that if something doesn't get sorted soon, it's highly likely if not probable, that Southampton City Council may, may go bankrupt by next summer. May go bankrupt by next summer. That's just, and that's one council on the South Coast. There's numerous councils around the country in England and Wales uh, and parts of Scotland that are facing this. Uh, the country is not in a good shape. It's divided. There are movements in Scotland for independence, although since the SNP's sort of bad PR phase and the controversy around their party at the moment in Scotland, it may, it does look a little bit like independence is going to take a bit of a back burner for a while, unless the independent, if the SNP can pull their electoral vote back out. But on the country as a whole, public services have been cut to the bone. We are the sixth richest economy in the world and we are the fourth most populous country for billionaires. There are 124, 126 billionaires living in the UK. They own the vast majority of the wealth in the United Kingdom, as it is in most, probably your country as well. What to do about it? Well, people don't really know what to do about it. As ordinary people like us, we are told that we can't have a pay rise because it f will fuel inflation. We have strikes all over the place. We have a Conservative Party that seems hell-bent on destroying the NHS any way it possibly can by not mediating with the NHS and refusing to sit down and talk with them during these strikes. They're now taking one of the nurses' unions to court over strike action. That light is really bright and I don't like it very much, so I'm going to turn it down slightly. How's that? Is that a little bit better? So they're going to take the union to court to try and stop strike action, which is due to take place this Wednesday and Thursday, I believe. Today is the 24th of April, 2023. So we've got strikes going off all over the place. Um, the country is not on the brink of revolution and it's not on the brink of mass people taking to the streets like you see in other countries, but it's getting that way. We face a situation where we have a government that uses racist and fascist rhetoric to demonise people like myself in the trans community or migrants coming to this community or other ethnic and religious groups like Muslims in, in this country. And they are not doing anything to help the situation. Now, at the moment, electorally, it looks like Labour will win the 2024-2025. The, the Tories can call the election as late as January 2025. So it looks they're on course at the moment to win, not necessarily by a landslide, but they will form the majority government. There's not much enthusiasm for Labour. It's Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, Sir Keir Starmer of the Labour Party, has his issues. Other than the fact that he's a bald-faced liar and will say whatever he can get to get into, say whatever he likes to get into power, is neither here nor there. But the options we have electorally are not good. Now there are organisations like the Trade Union and the Socialist Coalition that I'm a member of through the Socialist Party that are standing candidates in the May 4th gen uh, local elections. That's one of our flyers up there. You might be able to make it out if I just turn that a bit that way. You can make out the three of us who are the trans candidates standing on the platform in Southampton. Um, we're standing in all the seats, all the wards that are up for election in the city. There are Tusk candidates in other parts of the United Kingdom standing. Uh, I think there are some in Sheffield. We have one, I believe, standing in Eastleigh. Um, if they are on your ballot paper and you don't want cuts anymore and you are sick of cuts, then I suggest you vote for a Tusk candidate. 
what out there can anybody do about it? Well, the cost of living crisis is crippling people. We are juggling, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul. My electricity bill and my food bill is astronomical. And with the pittance I get off the state, it is very difficult for me to juggle the bills that I have to pay, the debts I have to pay, and the cost of living crisis with fuel, electric, food, all that. And it's becoming very, very difficult. And it's not just me facing this. It's a lot of people facing it, including people who were in work. And a few years ago, we were considered on a good wage. That's really annoying, isn't it? The country is heading down the toilet, but it's getting richer for the rich, not for ordinary people who work their whole lives, who hold down one or two jobs, maybe three jobs, work the weekends. It's not working for us. It's not working for any of us. And I don't know how we can get out of it short of taking to the streets. But as I say, we're not quite at that stage yet. It's the Labour Party's election to lose. Will it be better under the Labour Party? Well, yeah, public services might be a little bit more better funded than they currently are at the moment. Yes, that's possible. But it's still going to be Tory light. That's all Labour is. They're not the Socialist Party of, of, of the old days. They're not the Radical Socialist Party of the old days. They're not really a workers' party anymore. And if they thought they could get rid of their union representatives, um, their, their union affiliates, they would and just go for big business donors. But they can't at the moment because there aren't enough big business donors going for the Labour Party. I don't know what else to say other than it's a shithole in this country. Our services are crap. Um, we're getting payments from the government. We're getting a 300 payment for people on benefits and lower income families in the next month or so. But that's only going to get us through the next couple of months. That's not going to get people through for the year. And God knows what's going to happen in this winter when it comes. I just hope we can all get through this, but I don't think capitalism has a solution to it. It's almost like capitalism is eating itself at the moment, all over the world. The only difference is inflation is coming down elsewhere in the world, whereas in the UK, it's remaining high. That's a combination of factors, the war in Ukraine, COVID and Brexit. We're in a worse situation than any other country, minus Russia in the world. And so our problems are greater than other countries in the world who are also facing quite bad problems. I want to say I'm with you and I support you and what you're doing. But unless we take to the streets and demand an election now or a total radical change in the political culture in this country and the electoral system and the whole way we do business and everything, I don't think there's a lot that's going to happen in the short to medium term. Until the Zoomers are in a position where they hold the whip hand and the boomers have kind of died off, I don't think much is going to change. But it could happen rapidly. It could happen rapidly. But I don't see it at the moment. I don't see that clamour for people demanding a radical solution now. It's growing and it's getting there but it's not quite at that boiling point yet. So yeah, that's how it is in the United Kingdom. It's not good, it's really not good. And we are having it as bad as the Russians, if not slightly worse than the Russians, and they've got sanctions slapped on them. So yeah, that's the state of it is in the United Kingdom. We have the May 4th elections coming up in 2023, the local elections. It will be interesting to see what the results are and where the percentage of votes lie to give us an idea of what the general election may be like as late as January 2025. So keep watching this channel. I'm going to do more videos on the elections coming up, more political stuff. I know it's not very popular on my channel, my political stuff, unless it's trans related or LGBTQ related, but stay afloat. If you vote and you've got an ID and you're able to vote in this election, because the Tories have changed that as well. If you're able to vote, um, there are some parties out there to vote for and Tusk as an organisation is one of them. So please look out for them on your ballot paper. I will do more videos soon, I promise. 
Um, I just need to order orchestrate a few things. As you know, I'm standing in the election, so there's a bit of stuff I've got to do. I will keep you up to date and I will try and post more on my social media. Please like, share and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you again soon, everybody. Goodbye.